Hi there, I am the F-bomb community. Look, a ladybug just landed here. See, look, look, there it is. This is a, our second day on Union, a Civil War epic piece by Whitney Hamilton that we're shooting down here in Montevallo. Okay, so the questions. I grew up in Alabaster. I was born in Memphis, but moved to Alabaster when I was about 10. And um, I cut to, I guess, I um, got a scholarship to Jacksonville State, and my mentor there encouraged me to um, study at the Lee Strasberg Theater Institute, which there was one in New York and one in LA, and um, she applied for a, um, a scholarship for me to the one in LA, and that's, that's what took me there, and I've been there for, I guess, 10 plus years. <laughs> and then this film, actually, Union, and last year we started shooting, and it, it really was probably the first thing that brought me back to Birmingham. And um, I've just been working on independent film and such everywhere but LA. And I'm really excited about what's going on in the South, and now excited about what's going on in, in Birmingham now that I've been here for a little bit, and the potential and the um, potential for growth in, in, in the city and in the state for film and, and entertainment and art in general is um, feels pretty rich and, and exciting. So I'm gonna feel it out for a while and um, see what I can get into. I've already been getting into some things, so. The Girls Rock video um, really is the, the actual work of it was primarily Erica DeSouza and uh, Audrey Reed who did the, the shooting and the editing. I kind of just encouraged them to do it and, and, and guided them to do it a little bit. As much as I was mentoring the young girls at the camp, I kind of felt like I was mentoring those two <laughs> as well. We actually have uh, several things in the works with those girls and those ladies and um, a few other filmmakers around town to do some music videos. We're gonna be doing a music video for Mandy Ray and a couple of the folks that, that we met through um, Girls Rock Birmingham. Um, as far as producing, I mean, I, I've produced like little sketches and uh, you know web series and things like that. Uh, my Three Fingers was the first film that I like legitimately produced. For me, producing is a way to get my ideas out there to, as an actor, have a um, um, more say in what I'm doing and, and, and what I'm sharing with the world. When you can say you're a producer actor or when you can say you're a filmmaker, um, people just take you a lot more seriously and they value your ideas differently. Is it something I enjoy as much as performing? Um, not, not yet. Um, I still very, I feel very new to it. I feel like I don't know a lot about producing, and I feel very, you know, experienced and skilled as an actor. So there's more of a freedom there. It's it's all a big picture to me now. It's it's a bigger picture, and and, and it, I think I need all of the pieces. And, and I don't, filmmaking isn't as specialized. I feel like as it as it even was when I even started. I think you you need to know how to do everything if you want to produce your own content and you want to share your voice with the world, whatever that is, you, you need to know how to do lots of things. And it just feels, it feels better to know more. <laughs> it feels better to know more. I've been able to get to know, this is the third question. I have been able, to, I should do a, I don't know Beth well enough to do an impression. Um, she's a little more low key than me. I've been able to get to know your, yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, I was in a band for a minute. We had like a show. Um, I, I'm, I'm a singer, I'm a performer. Um, I'm most confident in that. Secondly, confident in um, my singing ability and my musicality. I love the art form. I secretly pine over <laughs> the idea of, of, of being a, a, a rock star. Um, I think a little bit my approach to acting is kind of rock and roll. I rebel against a lot of um, the ideas that are set up around what it, an actor is supposed to be. I, I contradicted a lot. I used to think that it was 
maybe self-sabotaging, but I've more asserted that it's just kind of my style. Really, as an actor, you're, you're, you're encouraged and, and pushed and forced into this idea that your girl next door are all American. And I don't know, just a, a, along the way, I've, I've countered that every step and, and maybe made things hard for myself, but hopefully ultimately made, made what I do better and more broad, more real, real for me at least. Um, Um, I wanted to, to, to portray a certain kind of emotionality um, that I hadn't had the opportunity to do much, which really is kind of this aggression or this, this torture. I brought that to Paul, just this idea of like, this feeling, and, and then we started talking about, you know, I, I'm just kind of joking, like, I, I want to get in a bar fight. <laughs> he came back the next day and wrote this script, and there is a scene in a bar, but it, it, it just kind of spawned this idea of what what would push someone to that point, and then then starting to research about female in the military and the the inner struggle, the internal struggle within the the Marines, the the constant fight and struggle not only for what you do, you're a soldier, you fight, but within what you do. Um, to, to be recognized for what you do. The, the trauma that they experience, I think, is a really unique um, kind. It's on one side, it's similar and, and related, relatable to what a, a male may struggle in the same um, scenario. Um, on the other hand, um, it's different. I mean, they're women, um, they're, they're coming back you know, feeling disconnected from their children, and there, there are these, there are slight differences in experience, and, and we really wanted to explore that, but at the same time, really um, show how, how it, how it's similar. Like we know this story of a man going through this, and we don't, we don't think about a, a woman in this situation, but a lot of our soldiers right now are women, and um, though combat is not legally recognized. Um, or allowed for women, they they experience it. Um, that's the war we're fighting. You know, I have I have mental and illness in my family, and I have an understanding of 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 that personally. Um, but I have a I have a real deep need and, and kind of feel responsibility to talk more about uh, mental illness and and just you know what what we go through as humans. Like really showcasing that and telling that. So, um, how did it feel to portray that character? It felt like, I mean, I think we all have a darkness in us that that we can relate to in this. Um, this is a very extreme situation and um, level of that, but it, it's it's relatable. I mean, I, I I felt it. I felt like I I understood it, and hopefully that's that's what. Um, what we do a little bit with this film is help people understand what these women go through, but also um, how it reflects onto themselves. Gosh, there's so many, so many people that inspire me um, as performers. I actually am very inspired by like rock and roll musicians. I mean, um, you know, Saint Vincent and these. I love, I, I love how um, you kind of take on a persona and it's not that it's not you, it's this extension of yourself or this um, greater exp expression of yourself. So yeah, like, um, but then, you know, some of the old school guys like, um, you know, Led Zeppelin and Jefferson Airplane and I love like 70s rock and um, so yeah, I, I draw from rock and roll performers, um, maybe as much as I draw from life, and then maybe lastly actors. <laughs> you get it gets tricky to get you know to draw, and I'm inspired by actors and and, and performance. I like to kind of pull adjacently, as to not feel like I'm copying another actor. 
I'm inspired by these actors that I'm working with now. I love working with actors. Um, I love uh, like those kinds of intimate um, interactions are, I think, what we kind of ultimately long for in life. And, you know, I, 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 I do it in a way that, um, that I, I get to experience that. And, I, and it also teaches me um, how I want to experience my life. So, yeah, I get inspired by everyone. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, no, no, I'm just recording a video. <laughs> so, this is just our, we, we're, we're making a movie here. <laughs> Okay, that is the last question. Um, so thank you for letting me do this, and hopefully my face didn't blind you with its whiteness. <laughs> God, should have like had a parasol. So I'm bringing back the parasol. See, look how nice that looks. I'm bringing back the parasol and tea. Um, okay, well, yeah, thanks so much for this. I hope I answered everything. Watermelon? <laughs>